All right, good news, guys. We have a wall. Woo. It's time to raise it. And up. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, buddy. On this edition of Check 6 Aviation, three more walls to go, and then we're building an RV-10. Well, here we are back at it out in the yard, continuing the project of the airplane factory for the RV-10. Here you see me out in the yard with my lovely wife, yeah, Amy, yeah, helping me a little bit kind of giving me some pointers and me just kind of saying, yeah, I already know that. You see, her dad is a carpenter in the Philippines. And with me being the kind of guy that I am, thinking that, yeah, I know a few things, I can sometimes let things go to my head a bit and just say, yeah, I already know that. Those are the things most dangerous words in the English language saying, I already know that. And yet here I am using them with my wife. But here we are, you see me going ahead and laying out the, the top and bottoms for the walls and marking them off. Uh, I went ahead and took a uh, spare two by four that, uh, and uh, put it, uh, tied it down to the back end of the airplane factory version 1.0 and uh, yeah, to kind of give me a reference point of where the back wall will be. You see me yeah, strapping, yeah, kind of taking them up right now and I've, yeah, I'm, I'll be laying down another 2x4 in the front to represent where the, uh, where the front doorway will be and here I am, I'm cutting off the wood that doesn't belong. I'm kind of, I'm cutting them to fit. And I'm doing this for, of course, all, both walls, tops, uh, top uh, stud or top plate and the bottom plate. Uh, now maybe I'm, I'm not using the best terminology. I already know this and that's okay. I, I know how, the, how this is supposed to go. Um, but I, I know that I'm, yeah, I had to go back and actually watch a few framing videos to kind of say, okay, dear, yeah, you were right about a few things. Here we are, I, I'm, I'm cutting off the, uh, some of the, the, the studs. Uh, I'm making the walls seven feet high. And I'm doing that for a reason, partly because of zoning, uh, zoning laws here in Abilene, Texas. Uh, yeah, there I go, knocking things down in the background. I don't know if you heard that, but that's okay if you did. Uh, partly because of zoning zoning regulations here in Abilene, uh, and also because I am going to be hanging things from the rafters for inventory, and I don't want to have to climb up on a step ladder every time. Now, here you'll see me have a big oops. That's when I was nailing in the, uh, it, nailing together those two pieces of wood and did not get the nail gun perpendicular to the wood and it shot out the other, the, one of the pieces and I, I basically nailed myself. <laughs> Luckily, the wound was superficial. Uh, I, if you, I, I'm not posting it here because I don't want to gross anybody out. But hey, if you really want to see it, I did post a picture to my Instagram feed. You can go there, give me a follow over there, and check it out if you want. Uh, I will, I'll go ahead and post a direct link in the comment section below. Now, here we are. We're finishing up that section right there. Uh, finally, and completing the first wall. And well, I, I, I didn't really show you the, the second, doing the second wall because I felt that the process was a little too repetitive. But here we go, cutting the, the studs. I'm, play, I'm going to be placing them 16 inches on center as is, perp, as is uh, building code, normal building uh, uh, 
I don't know how you call it, but the, the normal way of building a wall, 16 inches on center, placing them there and there. And I keep doing this until I have all of them. But I am, yeah, I did go ahead and try something here. And that was, I had a, the bright idea of trying to cut all of them, all the rest of them at once. As I recall, it didn't work out so well. All right, we're back at it. As you can see back there, we've got the, both of the, the long walls framed. The only thing I've got to do with one of the long walls is I have this window to install. Um, this is just a temporary thing. I know it's not what you would normally do in a normal window framing installation, but uh, for right now, we're working on the front with the door opening. So let's get to it. So here we are looking at the wood and saying, hey, wait a minute, uh, Serena, I need some stuff. So we're, we're cutting in, we're, we're starting on the framing and construction of the front wall, the front door opening and the, the front wall. And I realized that, hey, I need to move the walls that I've built already. Now, I mentioned before that I've got the window, but I will, um, you know, uh, I'm going to be taking that window and taking one of the walls and I'm actually going to be, you know, just figuring out where I want to place it on the wall. And I'm, I'm kind of, I have this picture, this idea of in my mind, I, I have not written down any plans. And yeah, I know this is kind of not the way you, you really build something professionally, but it, I'm, I know it'll work out. I know it will. Um, but I digress. So in a few minutes, I will be raising the walls because I realize, hey, I need some place to lay out the, the front door, the front, the, the front opening, the front wall. And so, but here in the, you know, what I'm doing is I'm kind of deciding how long I want the opening to be, you know, the, the, the door posts, I guess you might want to call it. I want them to be. And then I go ahead and figure out and look at, uh, here's a tip. If, if you're going to be building anything, get the wood as you need them, as you need it. Don't let it sitting around. Don't let it stay sitting around. Or if you do have, have it indoors if you can, because, well, I have a lot of scrap wood that I probably won't be able to use because it's warped because it's been outside. Oops. I know rookie mistake, but here I am taking what I, you know, taking a piece that I can't, I actually can use a portion of and enlisting the help of my little ones, Madeline and Serena. Madeline is the younger one of the two. And cutting the top top of the wall. And here we go. We're, we're raising the other two walls here in a moment. And I found a board on the fence that uh, was just bugging me. So I, I just had to, to kind of nail it back into place and otherwise it would fall over. So here we go. Scoot, 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 and up and over. I don't let them sit like this, of course. But uh, in a moment, we'll, we'll see that the... As you can tell from before, the sun is kind of set. It's kind of late in the day when I recorded this. And uh, the, the front door, the front wall is kind of taking shape now. Uh, so... This is getting towards the end of the video because the, the, the sunlight is just getting too dark to operate. But this is almost the completion of this step. Uh, I, I will be, after this video is done and complete, I'll be continuing on and uh, I'll be actually all caught up in the video making process and editing uh, as far as the build portions go. I have several other videos of uh, unboxing different tools and what they're, what they're for, 
Uh, what I'll probably end up doing is just laying them all out once I get the workbench uh, put together and, and installed. Uh, I've got plans for those, actual physical plans from EAA. And there we go. That is the end of this night this day's building progress yeah if you want to support this channel at all other than giving us a like and subscribe uh then by all means please yeah go out and become a patreon subscriber uh the top yeah our flight crew gets a t-shirt that is just absolutely awesome bye for now and remember always check your sex